So I still have no resolution for that. And then I got a different car. Eric gave me the Honda. Remember, I told you guys what he said. It, it, it could have been a Cadillac, uh, but only girls who suck dick get luxury cars. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Like, you invite me into your house with no expectation. You're the sweetest thing ever. Sweetest thing. He hands me a thousand dollars and he's like, I'm, I know what you've been going through. I know what they did to you. I got you. Like it's done. We're, we're, it's, everything is going to be fine. I'm going to help you. Here's a thousand dollars. Go get your kids Christmas gifts, blah, 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 blah. Never had sex with Eric. You know, I just don't understand why everyone who comes into my life starting as I got to, I, we know what the fuck has been going on. We know about this corrupt ass shit. We know we got you. And then a week or two in, it's like whoever again is benefiting from all of the information and hard work that I've done. All of the victimizations that I've been put through. They don't want me to speak on that shit. They want to speak on that shit. So they force <clears throat> people to go through it. And then they pretend like they are an investigator or a, an agent of some kind. And they present the information that someone else got only because they were thrown into a position of being victimized. Manufactured crime. I don't know. I really don't know. I wake up at three in the morning. He says that the car is going to get the tires changed. And that's the last time I've heard from him. He already paid my parking for the year. I have, he paid, he set up auto pay. He wrote a lease. Grant got fired. The other girl that worked here got fired. 